By now the patterns are clear. When charging becomes easier, people drive differently. When batteries last longer, infrastructure expectations shift. And when customers feel confident, the industry accelerates. This next exchange is about more than specs. It's about psychology. What happens when people stop worrying about where to plug in and start thinking differently about what they drive, where they live, and how they plan? Design isn't shaping the battery, it's reshaping behavior. Sodium chemistry, can you just give just a little why it's so exciting in terms of just resource low? Sure. Right now, the cost for lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are the cheapest batteries in the world, is around $55 per kilowatt hour at the, at the cell level, not the pack level. That's the cell level. They're saying that sodium will drop the price to approximately $10 per kilowatt hour. I mean, Meaning you could, not, you could not manufacture in any country in the world an internal combustion car that would compete on price, even remotely. You couldn't. Mm -hmm. The cost difference would be, like an engine might cost you, say, three or 4000 to manufacture. The battery pack in your sodium-powered car might cost you 400 So mm -hmm. the difference would be astronomical. And that's why Tony Sieber is predicting $5,000 EVs, primarily for that reason. Of course, we can't guarantee that's going to happen, but it probably will, considering the, the CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, have you know they have a market they're basically a monopoly as the chinese government have said they would they, they have begun building their mega sodium ion battery factory and they've also very importantly improved the energy density the energy density wasn't good enough a couple of years ago maybe even even a year ago but within the last six months we've seen the energy density has increased from about 120 130 140 watt hours per kilogram up to about 170. so now it's not far behind lithium ion phosphate and then we're talking early generation if you ask artificial intelligence about this and, and you really get to look at all the parameters and you know it's you know 50 steps ahead of us in a chess game it's predicting that sodium ion batteries will take up a huge percentage of the market for the reasons we've said it's early in the game hydrogen lithium batteries have been decades of development sodium it's only been a few years and we're already at this point so considering the abundance of sodium, it's one of the most abundant materials on the face of the planet, very, very, very cheap. And the fact that sodium ion batteries do have some advantages in terms of what you said before, their ability to handle cold temperatures. So that'll mm -hmm. be the cheap, cheap section of the market, right? I still think lithium ion phosphate will be around the middle section. And I think, and then I think your, what you guys are doing, Factorial and some other companies in the United States um, will be able to occupy that premium level with so solid state batteries. You know, if you're looking at lucid air type cars you know maybe the new model right. s maybe potentially lamborghini huracan you know these sorts of cars will have these solid state batteries and they'll be putting out massive amounts of immediate power and immediate you know performance